All right, welcome back to the channel. So, been hearing a lot of, lot of, getting a lot of questions asking me about the imminent return of two of the greatest fighters of my lifetime. Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Mike Tyson. Will they be returning to boxing? Wow. <laughs> Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So, I'm getting a lot of questions, seeing a lot of videos about the return to boxing of Floyd Mayweather Jr. and the return to boxing of Mike, of Iron Mike Tyson. So, I said I laugh at this, man, because as somebody that watches boxing on a very regular basis, talks about, reads pretty much everything, all the news that comes up out about boxing, and I've been doing it for several years now. Let me tell you, man, this is like a reoccurring theme, man. Reoccurring. Floyd Mayweather Jr. coming out of retirement, Mike Tyson coming out of retirement. Every time Floyd Mayweather Jr. picks up a pair of gloves and slap, and, and, you know, and, and slaps a heavy bag, the dude's coming out of retirement. Every time, every time Mike Tyson, you know, gets down from 280 pounds. Every time he loses 20 pounds and is on his no either on his new vegan diet or his new his new uh, uh you know it, you know his new diet all of that every time that happens man people start speculating and biting about whether these guys are gonna come back and most obviously the answer is dude they're not they're not they're not okay they're not coming back stop Floyd's not coming back. Uh, Mike Tyson's not coming back. Larry Holmes is not coming back. But, uh, Vladimir Klitschko is not coming back. They're not coming back. Let sleeping dogs lie. Let the past remain where it is in the past. We've got plenty of excellent fighters that we can watch and they can grow new legacies. You can have a new excitement. You know, I'm one of these guys, I definitely have a lot of appreciation for the legends of the sport of boxing. Definitely love talking about historical boxing, fighters in the 30s, love conversations about Henry Armstrong, love conversations about, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson, Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes. Love those conversations. Joe Lewis goes on and on and on. I even like conversations about Tom Cribb, Tom Melano, all of that good stuff. Would engage in conversations with John about John L. Sullivan, but hey, you know, John L. Sullivan was a little too extreme for me. But you get my point. We're all the fighters that we love, we will always, we will always love. We will all we will miss them. We will you know what I mean. But the, the the difficult thing comes. It's easy to see that when a guy is fifty, when when a guy is sixty years old. But for some reason, because our human our ages, sports ages, old in sports is younger than old you know than than uh, old age comes earlier in sports than it does in real in real life, okay? For example, I'm 50 years old. I am not old, despite what, <laughs> despite what, you know, some of my 14 year old son or some 22, 23 year old people might think, I'm not, okay? I have, hopefully, knock on wood, another, you know, 40 years, 30, 40 years of my life, uh, of my life le left if everything goes well and I act right, right? Another 30, 40 years. Very foreseeable that another four decades, that I can be here for another four decades. I hope that I am. I hope all my loved ones are. May not come to fruition, but it's that's why I say, man, you are young when you're zero. When you're old, you're not old at 50. You're not old at, at 60. You're old, you know, it's subjective, but you, you should get my point. You're definitely not old at 40, okay? Because some people say, ah, I'm not for nine year old. Well, it's Floyd Mayweather Jr. old. He's what, 43 years old? I promise you, he is not old. That is not an old man. However, in boxing, that is an old man. Mike Tyson, 54, in boxing, that is decrepit. He's not coming back. 
and you do not want him to come back. You might think that you want him to come back. People that put, people that put, um, you know, that do videos like I do or write articles in boxing magazines that get to talk to you about boxing and have things that will gather your interest, they might want him back, but somebody that is a true fan of him, they do not want them back. So um, that's how I feel when I see Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, saying that, or Mike Tyson saying, hey, I got a black eye from sparring. Well, Mike, he is, I'm happy that you got out there, you got out, you did what you love to do. Similar to me, I was a track, I was a track athlete, very, you know, good track athlete, not a great at track athlete, definitely not the level of track athlete that Mike Tyson was of a boxer, right? Not in the same planet as that. However, every once in a while, what I like to do is I like to go down to the track and I like to just, hey man, feel the feel the wind, you know, brushing past my ear. I like to feel my, you know, like to, you know, feel, you know, increase my turnover, relax my hands, relax my face, lift my knees, you know what I mean? Making sure I'm hitting the ground with the ball on my feet, all of that. And it feels really, really, really good. But then, the next day, the knee, the back of my knee swells up like a balloon. <laughs> and I won't even be able to do a regular workout for the next four or five days. That's, that's what happens when you get there. But some, that's what happens when you, get to, when you get to that age. And I promise you, that's where Floyd Mayweather Jr. is. That's been where Mike Tyson is. So it's just, you know, it's just not going to happen. Okay, it's just not going to happen. Um, what could happen, though, and I think what is most likely to happen is little small exhibitions, you know, small exhibitions with Mike Tyson. Uh, Mike Tyson could probably get out there and say, you know, he and, and Vladimir Klitschko want to get together and do, you know, a five, you know, a four, three, four round, you know, exhibition, uh, exhibition match. They put on, you know, 40 ounce gloves so that they don't hurt each other, man, because you don't want to be taking them. Those guys don't want to be taking those shots, man. But, you know, that type of thing could happen with Mike, Ty with Mike Tyson. I do believe that Floyd Mayweather Jr. can continue. You know, he might have more, you know, sparring exhibitions where he makes more money in that sparring match than people making championship fights. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that continues to for Floyd Mayweather Jr. for, you know, for the next year or two. But, it's just, it, it's just not going to happen, man. It's just, it's just going. Now, Mike Tyson is the example that is the most obvious, right? You know, there was, but there's still people out there saying crazy things about Mike Tyson. Like, Mike Tyson can beat Deontay Wilder. Like, of all the disrespectful things, all the different disrespectful things that have been said about Deontay Wilder before he lost to Tyson Fury and since he lost to Ty Tyson Fury, the most insulting of all of it is where somebody says Mike Tyson can beat Deontay Wilder with, with four weeks training, he'll knock Deontay Wilder out in the first round. That is ridiculous. And it's just, it's, it, it's ridiculous, it's insulting, it's just, and the person that said it, it's like you, it's like he's Dillian White. You just can't take anything that the guy says seriously. Like it comes out of his mouth and you're like, did you say that for a headline? Because let me tell you what would happen to Mike Tyson if he fought Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder could move around for two rounds. You don't think Deontay Wilder can move his feet, can box from the outside. Against Mike Tyson, Deontay Wilder could move around for about two rounds, just staying out of the way of Tyson Fury and throwing out a jab to Deontay, excuse me, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson uh, will start getting winded around, around round number three, and then Deontay Wilder will start stepping up and laying bombs on the top of his head, and the dude is going to go to the hospital, and he may not get out of the hospital. It's not going to happen. It's purely, it's such an insult to say it. It's, it, it's like you just want to spit in Deontay Wilder's face saying that. So, you know, <laughs> but, but, so it's just completely unrealistic for, for, for Mike Tyson. For Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao, it could be a case where they could be competitive. There are some welterweights I believe that 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 um, Floyd Mayweather Jr. can beat, can still be, right? Luis Colazo, <laughs> Luis Colazo, you know, maybe he. No, I'm just joking about. It. Yeah, he could definitely beat Malik, uh, Colazo. There might be an outside chance 
that Floyd Mayweather Jr. Well, there's a chance like Floyd Mayweather Jr. might be able to beat a Keith. He might be able to beat Keith Thurman. He might be able to get back into the shape where he can fight Keith Thurman. But Keith Thurman is not somebody that's this grueling fighter that is going to bang on you, that is really going to bang on you, press you, you know, make you feel your age. But that's not going to be the case for guys like Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr. is going to press an older fighter. He's going to make him fight every minute of the fight. And like kind of the tricks, the older, you know, older trick, the trick that, that people have to slow down the fight, more than likely is not going to work on a fighter that's that young, that's that energetic. And Floyd Mayweather Jr. is going to turn around and get hurt. Man, at the end of the day, man, I just think that it, at a certain point in time, you know, you just need to let the fighters that you love go. And, you know, and appreciate the old fight tapes that they have. Go back and watch their old fight tapes. Enjoy that. But, you know, when fighters, when, it, when, you're, when you're pushing that 42, 43 years old, man, it's just the time is ticking for something really, really bad to happen. That's it. It's not a, I believe once you get over 40 years old, it's not a matter of if, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Okay? And so for Floyd Mayweather Jr., it's not a matter of if he's going to get, if he's going to get beat up. It's when he's going to get beat up. Same thing goes for Manny Pacquiao. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when it's going to happen again. Again, he fought Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is not the type of fighter that is going to press you, that is really going to get in your chest, that is going to make you fight when you don't want to fight, that is going to make you, that is going to be given, you know, just really get on you and you and make the older fighter fight. He's somebody that was reacting to Manny Pacquiao, giving Manny Pacquiao a lot of respect and allowing Manny Pacquiao to fight the way that Manny Pacquiao wanted to fight. But if he gets in there, he screws around and gets in there with somebody that is going to be like, oh, no, dude, you're an old man. I'm going to make you feel like an old man and really presses him. The dude's going to get hurt. And I don't want to see that for Mayweather. I don't want, definitely don't want to see it for Tyson. Um, don't want to want to see it for Manny Pacquiao because when I saw it for Muhammad Ali, dude, it was one of the saddest things that I've seen as a boxing fan. It is the saddest thing that I've seen as a boxing fan if you go back and look at that fight. But anyway, it is what it is. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.